Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scrubby and welcome to She Sees Red. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the stream, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. You can also subscribe to the channel for more streams and other videos. Uh, as I'm talking, I'm realizing how crappy my voice is. Uh, today, we had a demonstration of a new piece of equipment that we got at work today. And I asked a question and it was like, I hadn't talked all day. So I was like, uh, my voice sounded weird to me, and it does right now, too. Also, I almost want to think I might be getting a little bit sick. My throat felt uh, not quite a sore throat this morning. Kind of scratchy, like it wanted to be a sore throat, but then, like, the hot coffee made it feel better. I don't know, just kind of weird, you know? And now I'm kind of feeling a little bit the same way. Anyway, I don't feel like I'm sick sick though. We'll see what happens. So we're starting early tonight and nobody's here yet. So I'm trying to kill some time for people who are planning on it being at normal time. So we don't get started without everybody. You know what we could do, actually, is like go through my Discord funny, funny videos. I don't know, man. So, so last night, my stream got blocked by YouTube twice in a row. So I'm kind of afraid to show anything on stream now. <laughs> like it, it got straight up blocked. Like this stream is unavailable. I suppose we could show this one. Gotta know exactly who you are. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord have focused, mercy. Brothers. We must stay focused. <laughs> In case you didn't see that, check out the butt of the player that he looks at. Gotta know exactly who you are. Lord have mercy. <laughs> we must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Anyway, that's just that's just a uh who needs to hear this right now. But <laughs> This is just a uh a, a, a sneak peek of uh what's going on in my Discord. I don't know who needs to hear this right now. But <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have not watched this one. Let's watch this one. What has three letters, and when you say it, makes everyone despise you? That's right, Ohio. Now, here is the top ten things we can do to stop Ohio. Number one, if you're from Ohio, just tell the person that you're from Michigan. Once they hear that, they'll stop listening to you. <laughs> what has three letters, and when you say it, makes everyone despise you. Okay, that was worth That's it. right, Ohio. So for those of you who may not know, uh, Ohio does not exist. This is uh, a belief that we share around this channel as of late. People keep saying they're from Ohio. These people are lying. I don't know why they would say that because Ohio doesn't actually exist. What has three letters and when you say it makes everyone despise you? That's right, Ohio. Now, here is the top 10 things we can do to stop Ohio. Number one. If you're from Ohio, just tell the person that you're from Michigan. Once they hear that, they'll stop listening to you. <laughs> what has three letters? I got to send this to Laura. That's good. Anyway, looks like we got a couple people in here. Let's get started. I was just stalling for uh, time for people to get in uh, so they don't. So you guys don't miss any of the story here. All right. You ready? Okay. Be advised, you are about to start your first playthrough. Different choices lead to different parts of the story. We, rec we recommend watching the film at least twice to reveal the whole plot. Hey, NV, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. NV is ready. So I just, um, you know, you know how people have said or in the past that like, I think Malik, it's happened to 
that um, not all of their messages are showing up in chat? Well, uh, Laura's daughter was watching Little Miss Fortune last night, and she said that a, a, lot, a lot of her chats were not showing up. So I just found that here, this was turned on to top chat. Top chat means some messages, such as potential spam, may not be visible. So I switched it to live chat. All messages are visible. So hopefully that fixes the problem and I see everybody's chats from now on. Okay, all right, let's go. She sees red. Every choice matters. Start. I didn't choose that. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Dude, that's a zip tie. You're never getting out of there. <clears throat> no, that was the YouTube live chat that I look at. And also this chat shows exactly the same thing. So if it's not showing up in there either, that's probably why. We've been tipped off that a man had been killed in your club. Okay. Okay, good thinking. Take care of the body, leave it alone. Okay. Wait, is there no streamer mode or anything? Oh, come on. Oh, that sucks, man. We're going to have to be fast. At least I can still see it when it's paused. Some games you can't see it. Take care of body. Leave it alone. Bam. There you go. First choice. That sucks. I hate, I hate when games do this and give you a time limit to make a choice. Even if I'm just playing it alone by myself. I still don't like it, but I especially don't like it when I'm trying to do something like this. Also, I'm wondering if, so uh, chat is set on subscriber only, so you have to be subscribed for one minute before you can chat. This helps keep out like those uh, porn spammer bots. I wonder if people that aren't subscribed can still see the chat or still see the, uh, the poll and vote. We got one vote for leave the body. I see we got four people in here. Anybody else want to vote? There's a poll up right now. This is our first choice of the game. Seems like we, this person killed the security guard by jamming a pencil in his ear. Only like an inch was sticking out. And then they were zip tied to a shelf, broke a bottle and used the broken glass to cut the zip tie. So, cops or detectives or whoever just showed up said we heard you have a dead body here so do we leave the body or do we hide it i better get my uh clock sound effect up here since we don't get any music or anything while we're making choices there you go Clock's ticking. Get your choices in. Get your votes in. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
All right. Leave it alone. All right, we're going to get caught. Tip was correct. Please call the investigators. I wonder if we would have hidden the body if they would have come in here to nobody or if they would have caught us. Will scare my clients. The other guy's got blood on his cheek. Are there cameras here? This guy. The cameras are in the public area. There's no signal here. Oh, you were so heavy, like a mammoth. You're so fat. Please help her. Can you do that? Can you move the body? You need to wear gloves for that. And where do I find gloves? Hmm? On the shelf right behind you. <laughs> Probably got caught or found the body anyway. I, they're gonna find like that guy's fingerprints or DNA on him. Mean, he was laying this guy was laying on top of him. And he shoved the pencil in his ear. Oh. That's what he had in his hand, like his calling card or something. Wouldn't it be better to wait for your team in my office? Am I right? If something goes wrong, we put all the blame on us. Not self-defense, it appears. I wonder what language they're actually talking. Mr. Suhanov, how are you connected to Thailand? Tourism. I need more details. I doubt someone is killing your staff for petty theft. What do you mean, details? I haven't been there for five years. If what you say is true, why would anybody leave this message for you? Are you serious? Just because I'm the owner of this club, you think I'm a bad guy too, is that right? Just the type that leaves corpses behind. Are you telling me I should call my lawyer? No, not yet. But you might insist on his presence. That's the guard's phone. The dead guy's phone. To make sense. Don't touch it with your hand, stupid. Touching everything. Oh, look around the room, leave without taking a risk. Okay. Leave without taking a risk. So I'm guessing that that means looking around the room will be risky, but we probably will find something useful but if we just leave it'll be less risky but we may not find something that we're going to need later
We got one vote. Come on. Anybody else? It might be because we're starting early tonight. People weren't ready for it. Do you hear about if dishonest comes in here? I bet he says, uh, scientists have successfully produced fusion energy with higher output than was used to make it for the first time a couple days ago. You heard about that? That's pretty interesting. All right. We're going to leave. Hey, Malik, what's going on? Ooh, sparkly. Ugh. Someone was walking towards him. This someone was clearly part of my staff. My guys wouldn't let him go without a fight. All right, let me get this pull up real quick. Try to distract. Or hide. So what's happened so far was this guy was on the ground with the security guard laying on top of him dead. He shoved a pencil in his ear. He was zip tied to a shelf. He broke a bottle, cut the zip tie and escaped the room to here. These detectives or cops or whoever they are, the lady showed up. Um, she looked at the body, found this thing in his mouth that this guy put in there is like a piece of wood with some writing on it. Um, <clears throat> so now she is trying to figure out what happened and catch this guy. This right here is in the past. This has already happened. And what we just saw with the lady, with the guys is the present they're searching for him now. <clears throat> yeah. I was able to get started a little bit early tonight. Fighting another tooth gum infection, man. I've been having the last couple of days, like up here, right on my gums. I just feel sore. Like kind of like I bit a chip or something and it scratched my gums, but it's been like that for a couple of days. But I still need to do that dentist work for $6,000, which I'm not going to be able to do. Guys, I'm so broke. It's, it's unbelievable. I had to cancel appointments. Um, it's just like, I can't. Sucks, man. I'm, I'm hating living in this country more every day. Uh, 
And we were just talking about the new uh, Fusion breakthrough. Or at least I just started talking about it. If you've, I don't know if you heard of that, uh, Malik, that the scientists used like 197 lasers to fuse, to smash these two atoms together and create fusion reaction that produced more power than it took to make it happen. So it took 100% to make it happen and it produced an extra 54% energy than it took to do it. So that's the first time that they've been able to do it and produce more energy than it took to make it happen. So potentially that's how the sun works. It uses nuclear fusion. So potentially if they can make this happen and keep it going, it could be, and then, and then contain it inside of a fusion reactor. It could potentially be a sustainable, clean, safe source of energy. Um, but it's nowhere near usable yet. They just made it happen for the first time, which is pretty cool. Back wisdom tooth again with food getting stuck. I had to get my wisdom teeth pulled, like pulled out because they were coming in. They were going in this way. They're going like 90 degrees from the rest of my teeth. Dude, some of the worst pain I can remember in my life. Getting those things taken out. And then when I left, I was just bleeding constantly out of my mouth. It wouldn't stop bleeding and it hurt so bad. They gave me hydrocodone and I took like, I don't know, like two or four of those because <laughs> it just hurt so bad. And I ended up like passing out for a while, just like went to sleep. It was so bad. Chewing on tea bags because the caffeine makes the bleeding stop. It was It was terrible. That and getting my appendix stitches tightened. They had, I had to go in and they had to tighten my stitches like shoelaces. Holy crap, man. Those two things are the worst pain I can ever remember in my life. Right about that? Know anything about like, I don't either. I just, I'm just repeating things that I've heard today about it. Uh, I was watching Hassan today and he watched a, a video that Bill Nye made. Cause he was trying to find science videos that he could like listen to and understand. And Bill Nye made a pretty good one. Also Hank green has a pretty good one talking about it in ways that I can understand. Just had to pay Honda about a thousand dollars for a serpentine belt fluids refilled and tune up. See, you know what else sucks is I do that work. Like I do that stuff but I don't have a garage or anywhere that I can do it. So I can't even change my own oil where I live in the parking lot here. I have to take my car somewhere else and have them change my oil for like $140 or something stupid like that. So yeah, sounds amazing. sounds like it can save a lot of money. It can save a lot of pollution. Like there's no pollution. There's no nuclear waste. It's like completely, way completely clean uh source of energy if they can make it sustainable and and usable they quoted almost 700 for tires well that's that's understandable tires are stupid expensive you usually plan on spending like 150 to 200 dollars a tire so that sounds about right have an overlapping tooth that's about it in my mouth yeah bill nye i love bill nye he's awesome legend. <laughs> hey Rico, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back. Uh, so we got a pull up right now. We got a choice between try to distract the guard that's coming down the hallway or hide. Tested a battery with a multimeter attached to my soldering station. Hell yeah. That's so cool. I wanted to test more batteries. Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, Bill. Okay. It's been, oh no, I was going to say it's been long enough. Let's continue. But now we have a tie. Now I have to roll my dice. There's actually, there was a show that Laura and I started watching. I don't remember. It must've been on Netflix. Um, it was called like Bill Nye saves the world or something. It was pretty good, except they only had like, 
you know, each episode had a limited time, so he had to like rush everything super fast. But it was pretty cool. As long as you don't get dry socket, you'll be fine. Oh, cold designer, what's going on? I didn't get that. Uh, they I they told me about so that's I think that's what'll happen if. No, if I get a root canal, I have to go to the dentist and get the crown put on immediately because if they do the root canal, I could get, it, it makes the tooth brittle. And if they don't put a crown on it, the tooth will just literally fall apart. So I have to do the $1,800 to $2,000 root canal and then go do the $1,000 crown like as soon as possible. So that's $3,000 per tooth. I don't even have enough money. I, uh, I so I wanted to get my my kid a gift card for uh, Nintendo Switch because he wants to get the new Pokemon game. I don't even have the money to do that, man. <laughs> Sucks. Anyway, all right, let's get. Well, oh, sorry. Um, the dice was one. The dice was try to distract. Forgot what I was doing here. All right, let's continue. This guy is touching everything with his fingerprints. Hey, Diego, what's going on? We're just talking about dental stuff. You guess the dice action last three times? Diego, I need to uh, I need some dental work. And I can't afford it because it's gonna be like six thousand dollars. Oh, come on. Knife. Is this just a scar on this guy's face? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Water. What's this mess here, huh? Pretty classic distraction. Your guest spilled a bottle of water. And while the guard was busy cleaning up, he snuck right behind his back. You think it was a guard? It could have been any of the staff. Look carefully at the floor. Do you see how thoroughly it's been cleaned? Even the walls and corners are dry. I highly doubt that your cleaner is usually so diligent. Someone was watching him. Who would intimidate him other than a security guard? Clean this up. Wait, you did the second stage of the ATV without us? All right, I quit. I'm just kidding. That's fine. <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, it's going to take us, even if, dude, it's going to take so long. Um, I want to ride the ATV. I don't want to spend a year building the thing. <laughs> Mr. Suhanov, maybe you should consider getting a better guard. Is this guy playing with like a, a, a butterfly knife? Ready for more? I can't wait to find out what other tricks this mysterious guest has. Can you tell it's not ready yet? All right. So if you're just coming in, a quick rundown on what's going on. This guy was tied up in the in, in a storage room with the guard dead on top of him. He shoved a pencil in his ear. He broke a bottle, cut the zip tie, escaped the room. The girl and a couple of the guys are detectives trying to find him. So this is happening in the past. The scenes with the lady 
and the guys is the present. So they're trying to track this guy down um, before he escapes the club. I don't know. They're, they're investigating it and trying to catch him. Orthodox rabbi Bill Clinton. Uh, only teacher I've seen on TikTok was vegan teacher bashing Gordon Ramsay and falling miserably, failing miserably. Then she got booted from the platform. If I don't like and subscribe, then Kobe will under your bed and kidnap you. If you don't like and subscribe, I will time you out for five minutes. Um, I'm starting to like white girls. I feel like I'm letting my race down. Third stage is ready to go, which is the engine. The power consumption. Oh, yeah. Good for her, vegan ho. <laughs> She tried to say that God doesn't like people who eat meat. God doesn't like people who eat meat. Least annoying vegan. <laughs> There's a picture of him serving goat head. Oh, a painting. Oh, okay. Get a fine, thick white girl, but crazy, and you'll be honoring your race 200%. If you land a crazy Hispanic, the number becomes 500. Dude, speaking of thick white girls... I know you guys have probably never seen because you've only seen her like face here. Laura's got a huge ass. <clears throat> She's kind of thick. <laughs> so this guy, this is in the past. This guy killed the guard. He's trying, I don't think he's trying to escape. He had a map in his pocket or something, a hand-drawn map. He's trying to do something in here. I don't know if he's trying to steal something or what. I will never look out of respect. It's not like wide, it sticks out back. But not even like fat looking, just like nice and big, <laughs> you know? Go around, go around or follow the plan. I don't have any good pictures or anything, so. Go around or follow the plan that I'm guessing is on the, the map that he has. I don't know what the plan. The plan might say to go in there, but there's cooks and stuff in there. Something is growing in your... Oh, down here? <laughs> she, she said the other day, she's like, did you even know that you liked butts before you met me? <laughs> and honestly, I don't know that I did. <laughs> there's this picture of her the night that I met her. She was going out for like a bachelorette party in just like, I wish I, I wish I, I don't even know where it is anymore. I wish I could show you. It's funny. It's just like giant ass. <laughs> My girlfriend walks around all day, every day in those workout pants and my body can put most 20 year old girls to shame. And I don't know how many kids you have. Laura's had two kids. So like. She's not definitely, I, I definitely wouldn't call her fat or anything, or she th probably thinks she, I know she thinks she is, but she's not. Um, but she looks good, I think. What's crazy is that when I was a kid, I didn't like vagina or ass. <laughs> then I grew up. All right, what do we got in the poll? We got 67% go around. All right, let's go. I think I I think I have a gotten an appreciation for for nice ass that I didn't used to have when I was younger. You have a cigarette for me? I only have one left. Perfect. I only need one.
Uh, Just making sure you don't get cancer. A toothpick? Did you give him a cigarette? We have two, but she has had three. Yeah. That's kind of the same type of situation. Laura has two, and I have one. <laughs> That's why her, her daughter is going to be 16, and our son is seven. What the hell, guy? Are you kidding me? Stupid guards. What, did it drip on him? The hot, hot oil, I'm guessing. Dude, look at this guy. Oh! Attack or try to escape. So yeah, I kind of had that same, that same thought <clears throat> when, when I, when I met Laura and then I text her for the first time, it took her a little while to text me back. And then she said she had a four year old. So my, I mean, I was, I don't remember what that was. I think I was 25. If even, no, I would have been 23, 24, 25. Yeah, I suppose. Um, so when she said she had a four year old, I'm like, oh no. I was like, I don't, because I was, I was making like freaking $12 an hour. You know, I lived out here by myself didn't really know anybody, you know, I was, I was a broke boy. I'm like, man, I can't like, I don't know. I can't take care of a kid. I don't have any money. So I, I had to think about it for a little bit and then decided to go out with her. And it's not like that. Like her, her other baby daddy, <laughs> they like, she left him because he didn't treat her right. Basically. Um, and her daughter goes over there still like three or four days a week, like three days a week during school, the school year and four days a week in the summer or something like that. And then comes back over here. Um, I don't know. It feels a little uncomfortable when I see him and stuff, but like he's got a, he's married now and he's, they have another kid. So it's. I could see how it could be like that, but it wasn't like that at all for us. Y'all are legends for that. I'm too scared. All about confidence and making the woman feel like a queen. I'm also scared. True. I'm also scared. What if she sucked the other guy? And that guy is talking to me like, how does my dick taste? <laughs> Poor guy. When the ex says that, you say one thing and only one thing. Pretty damn good daddy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all about just being better, you know. Uh, NV is right. It's all, all about, where is it? I lost it. All about confidence and making the woman feel like a queen. Yeah. And, you know, hanging out with the kid. and Like, I never had a kid before that. So, like, I had to learn about kids and stuff, so. Anyway, uh, try to escape, 75%. We didn't see anyone. <laughs> we saw Sergei from security about an hour ago, that's all. Mm -hmm. More like half an hour, I think. Did he say anything? Thankfully not, no. No one walked by the two of you, right? 
Today is Tuesday. It's a very quiet day. There's only a few of us working. Who would walk by? So those guys were in. Oh, is he just escaping right now? Are they catching up? Hey, move it. Stop. What? So those guys were working in the hallway. That's why we had to go around. So that the guys in the hallway working on the lights didn't see him. Reminds me of real life. What's it's actual on? real people. The stupid fucker destroyed the kitchen. <laughs> what do you mean? I spent half an hour okay. looking for him. We should look for another corpse. How does she see that? And like maybe she saw a little bit, but how did she see that it was all bloody? She's in on it. Oh. Uh. Was, was standing here. Was it you that? They figured that out last time? What were we playing? Uh... Crap, what game was that? You called it. Oh, it was, uh, Diluted. You called it the other, the girl, lady cop was in on it? Sergey! Get him now! Oh no! Oh, I looked away. I didn't see it. Oh my God. Oh no. Just pull it. Just pull it up. Just pull it up. Fast. What are you doing? Can I show this? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. Did he hide under this table? I might get demonetized on this one. I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's find the bodies. Is that piss? No, it's the fryer oil. The stupid guard pulled the f the fry basket out and let it asshole? drip all over. Useless, filthy shit. It looks like he wasn't planning to go through the kitchen. Can you tell me where is your freezer? Uh. He didn't want to raise suspicion, from what I see. So he wiped off the blood. Yeah, they're both there. And also, Yana. Who's Yana? It's like his daughter or something. I mean, I, I'm just assuming it's a woman. Gotta go. All right, man. 
we'll be here for a while, so come back if you if you can. Oh, is that picture the guy with the hat and the hood? And that's his daughter with him? The refresh rate on this video is not great. <laughs> Looks so familiar. The cop lady? She does, kinda. Who is Maxim? The one who's chilling in the freezer now. We should probably head back. Her name is Veronica Plyashkevich. She's, oh, she's only one year older than me. She is an actress known for The Mistress of the Mountain, made in 2021. Shite Atikestva, The Adventures of Prantish Virik. I don't know any of these. There's only one way out of here, through the warehouse. On this picture, there's a young man standing next to your daughter. Who is he? As you can see, my daughter is young and beautiful. There's always a bunch of guys that want to hang out with her. I need you to go and check the stash while I distract her. Do you keep newspaper clippings about all of her suitors? I think the guy in the picture is him with that guy's daughter. Ugh! Examine the wall, examine the desk. Examine wall desk. Uh, let me show you. So this is her here. Veronica Ply Plyashkevich. Movies and TV shows. I'm looking for anything that looks familiar. I haven't heard of any of this stuff. Zodino Minsk, a blast. By Belarusian SSR, USSR, now Belarus. She's from Belarus. Wish we could watch these, man. You know? Like, even, even play the trailer. I'll probably get claimed just for showing this trailer. What the hell? Летняя премьера на канале Россия. Скажи мне, где твои камушки? Anyway. She's one year younger than me. She's one year older than me. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? We only got one vote. Get your votes in. Please. We got six people in here. I gotta turn the clock on. She does look somewhat familiar, though. I agree. Come on, you slackers. NV is the one making the choices here. He's going to dictate how the game goes. I'm guessing. <laughs> All right. Well, now we have a tie, so we need at least one more.
Oh. Uh, polls up if anybody didn't see it. Should we examine the wall or the desk? Just, just from movie watching experience, uh, personally, I would think that there'd probably be a safe or something in the wall, but maybe the desk has a button or a key or something. All right, I'm rolling the dice. The dice are going to decide. Jeez, how would I play these games without my dice? <laughs> Five, two, the dice say, examine the wall. Oh, he was friends with the, with the guard that he killed. Jeez. I can't read any of this. Ulyan has been in charge of the club. She's been the manager here for several months. Are you gonna need her phone number? There's no use. She's not answering anyway. Don't worry, we'll ask her about this newspaper clippings when she calls back. Mr. Suhano, I believe that the time has come for you to contact your lawyer. Hey, boss, where's the gun? Oh no, unknown due to weather conditions? Close well, if it, if it was in Wyoming yesterday, I imagine it's going to take like three, three or four days to get to you. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so probably like Monday. What the hell? You see her neck? Dude, she's in on it. Cold designer was right. So that's the, the owner's daughter, I think. Oh, she's got a hearing aid too. I guess. Dude, is that his daughter and she's got like prosthetics and makeup and stuff on to trick him? He's not gonna fire. He's buying time. Come to the window and find out for yourself. There's a reason he led us to this office. He needs me to open the safe right here. That's when he will attack. And what's inside? Stand by the door, and you'll fall back there. We'll use live bait. You 
said you didn't know who he was. I did. And I hoped it were true. He did a good job in Thailand, faking his own death. Money. Do you believe he killed all these people just for the cash? No, not just for the money. Also because of this. I see you have a burn. Yesterday I went to her. My daughter has a burn across her back. Oh. It's junkie's fault, trust me. Did I guess it? I gave the stupid bastard a job. But the fucker got high on some shitty stuff. Spilt hot oil on my daughter. Right on her back in this place right here. So you figured out long ago it was him? That's right. I just didn't want to be involved with this case in any way. What's this? This is what makes people kill each other. There's more you'll see. Look through the documents. Attack. Attack? What? So am I right? Is that his daughter? And she's just got like maybe a fake nose and, and stuff on and makeup and a wig. You think he would still recognize her though? We got two votes and we're tied. We need at least one more. Oh, also, I got my uh, my Twitch and YouTube stats for the year, like hours streamed and watch time and who I watch the most on Twitch and stuff like that. Let me bring it up here. I might not be able to show you. Oh, also, I got a copyright from uh, A Plague Tale. Like, really? Just now? Uh, where'd it go? 2022 year in review. I'm trying to see if it shows my email anywhere on here. Doesn't look like it. So here it is. Just something interesting to look at while well, we're waiting for one more vote to come in. So total view, 64,000. Watch time in minutes, 435.8 thousand. Total likes, 2,500. 150 new subscribers. Month, uh, June was the month with the most views. I got to look back and see what I, what I played in June. You're in review? Yeah, <laughs> you're in review. <laughs> Liquid ass prank on parts guy at work is my top viewed video every year. Stupid. So stupid. Can we watch it? Okay. This video is like the first video I uploaded. It has 4.3 thousand likes, 752 thousand views. So this, this guy that just walked in here is my friend that I work with. This is the parts guy. He's going to spray some fart spray right there. And then the door here that he walked out, there's another door like across the way that goes into the bathroom and we tied the doors together. So he can't open the door to get out. No problem.
I'm gonna roll the dice while we're doing this since we can't get one more vote. So he sprayed the fart spray, he can't go anywhere because he's on the phone. He's holding his nose. <laughs> See, he tried to open the door and the rope grabbed it and slammed it back shut. <laughs> and then this is a sliding window, so he's sliding the window to breathe. So that's the shop I worked at in the airport. All right. I rolled the dice and I voted. Let's continue here. Yeah, it was an all right job. The pay sucked. We were, we were unionized and then the company just came in and laid off 1200 people. So the union didn't do anything. So I don't know. It, the work sucked cause we were out working outside in the winter and outside in the hot summer sun. The pay sucked, but at least it was it was cool like that. Uh, what was it? Look through documents. So I can't believe that video has 750,000 views. And everything else on my channel. Make sure you give him my regards. What? Did she say that she's his sister? If that ever happens, poke a hole in the bag, like in your mouth. It really warms an old man's heart to witness the souls of a family being reunited. Let's drink to them. Maybe we should have attacked. Is that the end? Oh, what the hell? Okay. The end of the first playthrough. You have discovered a part of the story, but things could be different. During your second playthrough, make different decisions to change the course of events and reveal new scenes. All right, let's try again. So I hope it shows me what choices that we made last time. Yeah, it's over. So we got to make different choices to reveal more of the story. They only took an hour. What if I say no? I think, I think, I don't know, man. All right, so anybody who didn't see the beginning of this, this is what happened at the beginning. So now we know that that guy and the detective girl are brother and sister.
So I'm going to try to remember what we chose and choose the opposite. Off that a man had been killed in your club. Okay, last time we left the body, so this time let's take care of the body. Correct. Whoa. Please call That's like a full size phone, but it also flips. That thing is huge. Probably investigators. Yeah, they should bring more body bags. We'll be needing many. Many more. I'm looking for her hearing aid. Yeah, you can see it. And then also the burn on her neck. Oh, what? Colleagues will scare my clients. They can come through the back door. He tied him up? Are there cameras here? The cameras are in the public area. There's no signal here. touch him if I were you. You know withholding evidence is still an offense, right? Well, if it's an offense, wouldn't it be better to wait for your team altogether in my office? Am I right? If something goes wrong, we'll put all the blame on us. It doesn't make sense. The guard was already dead and posed no threat. Yet the attacker didn't leave just yet. He stayed put to hang the body. I guess he drank too much. Maybe went all Rambo. No, a drunk man wouldn't tackle him like that. It's far too complicated and it wouldn't make sense. It's a message. For someone right here. Because apparently, the killer knew that there's only one man who would get the complete report. Are you serious? Just because I own this club, you think I'm a bad guy too, is that right? No. Just the type that leaves corpses behind. Are you telling me I should call my lawyer? No, not yet. But you have a right to do so. It's all starting to make sense.
All right, last time we left without taking a risk. This time I'm going to look around the room. And leave fingerprints on everything. Where's the other one? Which one? Oh, jeez. So, what's going on here? The bastard was wasted, boss. And? He punched the waiter right on the nose. Uh huh. He tries to hit Alex with a bottle. Okay, and then? So they hauled him here to cool off. To cool off? Fuck. It was a setup. It seems pretty clear that the guy had a plan. But the second victim was an accident. Probably why he hid the body. He was worried. But you might not decipher his message. I do not know him. Let's follow the breadcrumb trail then. Because she's the investigator. So he's not worried about leaving fingerprints because he knows that she's the one looking. Thought her hand was gone. I didn't see. Last time we created a distraction. Oh, we got that thing now. Someone was walking towards him. This someone was clearly part of my staff. My guys wouldn't let him go without a fight. Uh huh. We might as well keep killing people. Oh no, Hyde is the other one. That was cool. Bash his head in the wall. I don't know. Do something, man.
light bulb. This guy just asked me if I play Sea of Thieves. I said, ew. <laughs> That's what he said to me. He said, you suck. Sea of Thieves Lots nuts. Of broken light bulbs today. See if these nuts fit in your mouth. <laughs> Where? The storage room by the dance floor. You guys ever play Sea of Thieves? Mr. I... Suhana, we've been tipped off. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell? I was saying, we've been tipped off that a man had been killed in your club. It looks like he stood... right here, behind his back. How could she possibly know that? You surround <laughs> yourself with amateurs. I got to play a, an open beta for free and that was back like right when it came out or right before it came out and there was nothing to do in the game at the time. I've heard that it's been updated a whole bunch and there's stuff to do now. You know, same with like No Man's Sky and Fallout 76 that I've heard that it's actually an okay game now. I don't know that I'd want to pay very much for it, but I, I do have to say that the ship sailing was really cool. And it was very hard to do it by myself. And it might be just as fun as any of those other ones with more people. YouTuber I watched does Dumpster Wednesday stream and that's the game he plays. Not sure what he means by the title. Probably just plays games that are known to be bad. But I mean, like, No Man's Sky was... Oh. Oh. Okay, last time we went around, so let's follow the plan. Um, yeah, No Man's Sky was the same thing. I got I pre-ordered No Man's Sky. I played it the day it came out. I made one video, and the same thing. It kind of sucked. There wasn't much to do. And now we played it... You know, I played it with those guys a few months ago, and I'd say it's good now. I mean, I, I'd actually kind of want to play it some more. So... It, I would be interested to play Sea of, sea of Thieves to see if it's any good now, but I would hesitate to spend any money on it. I mean, even Fallout 76, I played that when it first came out, and it sucked. And now, me and Cold Designer played it the other day, and I'd kind of like to play that again. Now that, like, two years later, it's actually been made into a decent game. Cool designer was talking about Skyrim. I'll pass. I already have it. I am going to stream that one day. What? Do me a favor. Hand me the screwdriver. I should take a shit in your hand so that thing sticks? You should have seen what he did in Farming Simulator. Instead of farming, he put down one th or thousands of wind turbines and solar panels. Thanks a lot. I have Farming Simulator like 2013 or something, and I made a video on it a little while back, and it was so fun. It was actually a About funny, funny video. I feel like. I'd say 30 minutes, no more. That would be awesome to play with some some people also. I used to be a farmer. I grew up on a farm. Mr. Sukhanov. Mr. Sukhanov. I remember. He had a tattoo on his neck. Some sort of Chinese writing. I don't know. I love Mr. her Sukhanov. eyes. Do you know anybody with a tattoo like that? I don't. You sure? I'm kind of a sucker for like blue eyes and dark hair. 
What happened to that guy's face? Farmer's Dynasty? I've heard that. I'd have to heard of that. I'd have to look it up and, and see it. I really want to play a medieval dynasty, but it only goes like five percent off when it's on sale or something. It's like twenty-six dollars. Laura and I are still waiting. Actually, my time at Sandrock multiplayer should be coming out soon. Well, you guys think he's in there? <laughs> he just pointed his gun at everybody. There's nothing in there. It's being renovated. I think it would interest him. Hey, Batman falling! I was summoned for what purpose? <laughs> well, there's a crime going on right now, and we're investigating it, so that's a perfect job for Batman. <laughs> this is actually our second playthrough of this. The the girl died with a bag over her head last time, so we're trying again. Making different choices and we're already on a different path right now. What if I commit the crime? Then you'll probably get away with it. <laughs> Speaking of Batman, I should play those Batman games. What are they, Arkham? Those are kind of detective investigation games, aren't they? I have all of them on Epic. I got them for free. Never played them, though. newest Batman game is Gotham Knights. Isn't Batman... Oh, wait. Yeah, isn't Batman not in that game, though? I think the guy is her brother, but he was killed by these people. And she's actually then the one doing this as him. Why else are they hiding the face? They showed his face when he was laying down on a couch in the club before he put the hat and the hood on. The, her and him are the, the two in the picture. So I think he actually came in and did this. And she is acting as an investigator to find out? hide it. Hell do I know? To cover it up, you kind of. Or maybe he set it up for her and she's going to be the one stealing or whatever whatever his goal is. See, we didn't see any of this le yet last time. He's gonna feed you. Feed you to the dogs for this. He's old school, you know. He blows up for every little thing. There's too much blood to clean up. Wait, 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 wait. stop, 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 I'll think. Oh my god. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Kill or spare their life? He already shoved that thing in his throat. All right, kill, spare. Might as well kill him, right. <laughs> Speaking of epic, let's see what's, what's free while we're waiting for the votes to come in. Pulls up, get your votes in everybody. Oh, you, you might as well spare? So, someone, maybe it was Cold Designer, someone told me that my Epic Store is super, super slow, which it is. Suggested to uninstall and reinstall it, and I did that. And it seems to be a little bit better, like when I'm searching for stuff, it doesn't take 30 seconds for it to react to what I 
typed or clicked on, but it's still slow as hell. Come on. Ooh, we got four votes in and we're tied. All right, there's seven people here. Will somebody else please vote? We need at least one more vote. Hey, we never played PUBG either. Hey, Dishonest, what's going on? I'll stop watching it. What, the killing? What is this? Evil Nun? See, I already clicked on that. Come on, go. I said kill meant to vote spare. Did you actually vote kill or spare? Is this like a... Dude, this looks like it has potential to be good. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, I get distracted. So you voted kill but meant spare. Alright, so that means we don't have a We don't have a tie. What do we have for free? We got Saints Row 4. Oh, I already have that. And oh, I got that one too. So we're waiting for 11 hours and 50 minutes. We'll get a new mystery game. The High on Life game is awesome. I'd like to play that. It seems funny. How much is it? I forgot what you said. $60? I don't think I'm going to be buying it anytime soon. What else did they make? Oh, Trover Saves the Universe. I watched a few videos on that. It looked really good. All right, so we're going with... Malik voted kill but meant spare so we're going with spare all right i voted i'm waiting for my vote to come in there it goes that's revenge you want you need a different plan when you find everything just bring it to the cops they're neck high in this business. And they already took down. They already took down. Some of Suhanov's mules. If the goods hit the streets with a different brand, the type of bosses will punish everyone. You must have gone down the hall. I thought he was going to do it so anyway. Let's go. Did you not hear what I just said? This is private property. The only reason you're allowed here is to find who's killing my men. Why did he open the vent? So we're gonna keep moving. And you're going to do your fucking job. Did you find something in there? Oh, the machete was in there, maybe? She's actually really hot now that I've been looking at her for a while. He's got a tattoo. Oh, geez. Is it her? You know what? Maybe you're right. 
uh, MV. Maybe it is her. I was looking at like the chin and stuff and we saw her putting on a wig and makeup and stuff. Maybe it is her. People are calling the new Avatar movie Avatar Dead in the Water. Is it out yet? No, it comes out in January, doesn't it? Best twist possible. Yeah. I I, I probably won't go to the theater to see it. We'll probably get it on Redbox or something. Who's this? Yana is his daughter? Get rid of cocaine, take cocaine. Releases December 16th. Oh, that's two days. But other countries get it sooner. So it's probably leaked already. Well, so there's like crazy Avatar stands. Um, I feel like the second one is going to have to outdo the first one for them to be happy. And not hate it. But also, they love that shit so much that they're probably defended even if it's bad. What's the difference with the cocaine? I don't know. Do we get rid of it and hide it or take it with us? Like I had Avengers Endgame spoiled for me because a friend spoiled it. No way will it outdo the first movie. Pro I, I would have to guess not. It's probably not going to be as good. And then either they're going to hate on it or they're going to defend it because they love Avatar so much. Um, I didn't get Endgame spoiled because I don't spend any time on any social media except... specific YouTube that I watch all the time, same, same channels or specific, same streamers on Twitch. I don't go on Twitter or anything like that. So I don't see any spoilers. All right. We got three votes, 67% for take the cocaine. Okay. It, they, kind of looks similar I think you're right I think he is her she is him so he's calling his daughter this is the same thing that happened in the freezer Last Where time, are you going? getting my daughter. <laughs> exactly the same dialogue. You've done cocaine before. How was it? I have not, mostly because I just have never been around it. I've never been in a situation where there was cocaine. I don't know about where you guys live. I know Dishonest lives in California, but here pot is legal. You, there's like stores that are just like liquor stores where you just walk in and you buy it. Make you hyper and blab a lot. Yeah, I need that to get my ass going in the morning. Dad, it's, it's dead here today. I went home. Maxim can fill in for me if he needs to. 
The first one was a one-time watch for me, and it was the only movie with good reviews that year. What year was that? It was also released shortly after the new 3D technology was, which both contributed to its gross. I think that that would be an awesome movie to see in like an IMAX theater, just because of the visuals. I actually saw I saw 300 in the IMAX theater. That was awesome. Do anything that sucks is it feels like your nose is running all the time, so you're constantly rubbing it. Oh, I've seen that in movies where they're always doing that. Who is Maxim? The one you found in the storeroom. Hmm. Oh, the only thing that sucks? Okay. We should probably head back. Oh, the guy that they found the dead guy in the storeroom There's is Maxim. Out of here, through the warehouse. On this picture, there's a young man standing next to your daughter. Who is he? As you can see, my daughter is young and beautiful. There's always a bunch of guys that want to hang out with her. All right, so we're back in this. You to go and check the stash while I distract her. We're back in this scene again. Things about all of her suitors. This is where she died last time. Oh, that's a lot of cocaine. That is, if you snort it, it turns your boogers white. So. So it's super obvious you're on it. <laughs> My boogers are black, but that's because I was sanding black paint today. And it's dusty and I breathe it in. <clears throat> Maybe that's why my throat is all scratchy. Uh, examine the wall, examine the desk. So last time we examined the wall. So let's do the desk this time. Never done it, but my parents used to have a ton of drug addicted friends. That's his daughter. Okay. Yana's apartment three months ago. Oh, God. <laughs> Father called today. I wasn't this time around, you'll have to take even more with you. I wasn't expecting that. Sounds good. Okay. Death. In the land of smiles, Russian drug mule found dead in Thailand prison. I better keep my finger on the button. <laughs> Nothing. Well, Yana's been in charge of the club. She's been the manager here for several months now. Are you going to need her phone number? There's no use. She's not answering anyway. Don't worry, we'll ask her about this newspaper clippings. When she calls back. Mr. Suhano. I believe that the time has come for you to contact your lawyer. Hey boss. Where's the gun? There was a nipple. Okay, follow the plan or improvise. It didn't show her face and the nipple at the same time. It was a guy's nipple. Yeah, I think you're right. I expected there to be just like bubbles, you know, bubble bath or something. Which is stupid anyway. If even if anybody wants to see 
all they just need to go to Google and Google boobs, you know? It's like kind of stupid that it's so strict. <laughs> so what if what if you take a picture of a shirtless guy and you cut out his nipples on Photoshop and put them over top of a woman's nipple? That should technically be fine, right? <laughs> this YouTube nude body painting. Dude, I saw that on Twitch once. There was a girl sitting on her bed streaming this completely topless, and she was painting her from like her neck down. She painted over her boobs, but she was definitely topless. Like, Maybe she had like a sticker over her nipples. I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> uh, we got one vote. The, the poll's up, everybody. Get your votes in. They'd be hairy. That'd be like a giveaway. Like, this is a guy's nipple. What? Why? What? What? What's the problem with that? <laughs> We got two votes in, and of course we got a tie again. We got five people in here. Can we get... Oh, we got three votes. There it is. Follow the plan. I agree. That'd be funny to have a picture of a top, topless woman with hairy nipples. <laughs> Seen everything and probably still can find the link. All right, so last time we looked at the documents instead of attacking and died. You may get up now. That's different. I really think we should. We need backup now. How many? All of them. I'll do everything I can within my power and more. But I'll find the bastard. But we don't need backup. Where is this room? Which one? Is that all the same room? There's girls dancing. still here oh what no way okay wait so we didn't get the money and the documents out this time mr. Suhano I believe it's a bad idea to make impulsive choices would you rather be gunned down then? Be careful. You might fire through the door. He's out. That's six. Well, hello, asshole. He, he's still going to shoot you through the door. Or he's not in there. Four hours ago. Okay, so this is her, right? So that's her and that's him.
That's the guy that's with her. Hold on, I'll look in a second here. I can't click out of the game or it'll shut the audio off. Oh, fuck. Is that his daughter? in the storage area. Search the room where they stored the chairs. You'll find a stash of cocaine in the air vent. Is that just What's it? Next? Let's stop by the police station. We'll pit them against the Thai drug cartel. Should be fun. Is, that's not the girl from the bathtub, is it? Oh, let me look at this. Oh, it's not blurred. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I can't show that. I'm curious if Avatar The Way of the Water beats Avatar. Will James Cameron re-release Avatar to beat it? He's done it before. Didn't he release it like at least twice or something? Who is this girl? Yeah, no, I, I'm not going to show it. <laughs> you good? Oops, sorry. I my finger on the yeah. button. Wait, wait, is that girl the detective lady and she took off her makeup and wig and stuff? He might, he might re-release it because isn't that why it's got like the most, like the highest grossing film or something because he released it again? Veronica Pleshkevich released it every time a, a Marvel movie topped it. Yeah, yeah. But I doubt he will because it's his movie. Okay. So wait, is the girl that got in the car the detective girl? I expected her to get in, but maybe it was her and she had a wig and makeup and stuff on. I still don't know. We could. So that took almost another hour. We could still do it again and like uh, mi mix up the choices. Oh, there it goes. So what? There's still. We've only seen 44 of 62 scenes. So that's 16. That's 18 scenes we didn't see. Oh, here we go. So here's... Oh, wait. He didn't get shot in the ones that we saw. So there's still another ending we didn't see yet. We didn't see that. We 
we didn't see that. What I'm saying is it's sad and egotistical, in my opinion, if a movie is re-released for the sole purpose of becoming world's most gross movie, they should start from zero and not add. Yeah, it should be for each release, I think. What does that say? I want to see how they did the knife with the guy's hand. I want to see how they did the bathtub scene. <laughs> I can't imagine this is more than a few minutes. You guys got some videos or something I can watch? We still got some time left. Or I could play, um... I was gonna say, or I could play uh, Mirror Forge demo and or Late Night Mop, but I'd kinda like to have those in a separate stream and I don't have one ready for him. We didn't see that. Or that. RDR fails. Well, that was interesting. I, I wish I had more time. I would, I would actually really like to play this again and try to get, get these ones that we didn't see. Like we didn't see her shoot anybody and we didn't see this fight in the room with the vent. And there was one, this one, we didn't see him get shot either. So. It's basically like a third grader losing a race by a few feet and stops right before the finish line so he waits for the second graders to line up and as soon as the race starts he steps over the line. <laughs> the finish line and gets first place. Yeah. Well, this was this was fun. This was interesting. The the story was was decent. Uh we had to do it with dubbed English. I'm guessing it was in like, I don't know if, if there's a difference between Russian and Belarusian uh, language. That's probably what it was though. Some, something like that. So it was decent. It wasn't bad. We definitely played ones that were way worse. You know what I was thinking about today? I would kind of like to play the five dates game again and try to get some of the other girls. There's five of them and we got, we got one. I'd kind of like to play it again and specifically go for the other ones and see how it turns out. Let's say that was one of the better ones. Yeah, it wasn't amazing or anything, but it, it definitely wasn't bad. Maya, yeah, we almost, we had to make a choice between Maya and the, uh, the girl that we ended up uh, getting, which I don't remember her name. 
So we could do that sometime if people are interested. If no one's, I mean, if people aren't interested, that's fine. But if people are, I would do it. Even the vegan, yeah, least annoying vegan. We should get her too. I would, I would like to see all of them. But we don't have to do that now or anything. If people are interested, I'd love to do it. But if not, it's it's no big deal. I have hundreds of games to play. Well, what should we do now? I've got about 20 minutes. Should we watch Red Dead Redemption Fails? Um, Ghetto Doctor? Oh, you know what else? Where'd it go? I just saw it. Oh, I want to play this. New Tales from the Borderlands. Recommended by your friend, Zalen Toki. Uh, the Final Fantasy uh, Crisis Core. I never got to play the original one, so I'd love to play that. Dude, I just saw it. Wait, was it right there? Crisis Core. It's on my wish list. I don't have $50 to spend on it, though. Should be a reality TV show, The Least Annoying Vegan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let me... Isn't that... Uh, the Ghetto Doctor is in the Discord. There it is. All right, let's see if we can get claimed. Too bad the high on life game doesn't offer a demo. $60. Oh, it doesn't have a demo. Yeah, I, if it had a demo, actually. If it had a demo, I could play that tomorrow. Like, if we want to do the uh, Mirror Forge and uh, Late Night Mop tomorrow, I would put another, like, if there was a demo for this, put that on there too. I don't see it. I still have a few demos um installed here that I never got to when I was playing the demos Blue June Against the Storm Brew Mastery The Parasites Dead Letter Department The Classrooms and Welcome to the Back Rooms are the demos that I still have I also have like 900 games in that Ukraine bundle too <laughs> Too many games. Thought I heard it was available on Game Pass though. Oh. Yeah, I don't have Game Pass just because I have hundreds of games that I haven't played yet. If I ever run out of games, I would get Game Pass. Alright, let's see what this is. So this is doctor's office. Which one of you two motherfuckers is Jonathan? That's you? 
All right, let's go. You up, player? Ooh. All right. Ah. Go ahead and grab a seat. Doctor's gonna be right with you. All right, he's gonna take good care of you. Ooh. Take a deep breath. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You definitely got some of them lungs and your breath a little strong. All right. Did you pay the person over there already? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, well, what insurance you got? I don't necessarily have insurance. Then you don't necessarily have an appointment. You're going to need to get the fuck on. Make sure <laughs> you pay them 20 bucks because I did just check your heart. I don't want for Exactly. American Doctor Simulator. <laughs> for free. All right, player? Appreciate you though. Appreciate you. You don't have insurance. You pay Get out. All right, next. Pay Dude, that like that happened to me. Like I had that. I told you before. I had that thing with my tonsil. It used to swell up every year and choke me. And I went to a urgent care, and I didn't have insurance. And it was gonna. I don't know how much it was gonna be, but I didn't have the money. And they're like, "Well, that sucks, don't it?" Pay shit. What the hell is my neck? Next. Somebody about to get fired in this bitch. I already know that. How you doing? Yo, you sign the shit out my door. You gonna have to I've been waiting that two down. hours. Two hours? Damn, man. I sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Boom. What the fuck are you doing? All right. Why? What's wrong with you? Sprain neck and kneecap. Ooh. Then let me give you this right back. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. And bow. Every ounce. That shit? Every ounce. All right. So you got the kneecap. You got the neck. Let me go ahead and. Take this guard, go and take that to Walgreens, okay? They're gonna fill that up. Go ahead and grab that. They're gonna fill that up at Walgreens. What is this? Uh, prescription, right? Prescri subscription. Is it subscription or prescription? I always get the two words mixed up. But that's pre prescription. All right, so now go ahead and grab a, a Mopop on that. Some diabetic. All right, we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Tell you what, you a good patient. So I'm gonna. <clears throat> got a little something. Go ahead and give you that right there. And before you leave. <laughs> you got a sticker. Okay. We got the new Fast and Furious. We got the, uh, what else came out of the movie with the Will Smith and his son? That one, I heard it was a little, eh. That's, That's like illegal. whatever. It's illegal, okay, we're gonna go ahead. You you look like a snitch, so I'm not gonna. Um, so go ahead and you gotta have to pay them the extra fee when you walk out. You look like a snitch. Fucking bullshit. See, see. <laughs> That's the kind of shit that gets you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's effing bullshit was you pick convulsion. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, walk right in. Walk right in. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, grab a seat. Grab a seat. Okay. Uh, what brings you in, sweet lady? I have really bad migraines. Mm -mm -mm. I'm pretty sure that it's stemming from my stress and anxiety. Like, I just have so much going on at work and in my life right now. That oh, I'm just... okay. Had to stop you. Didn't ask you all that. I'm sorry. That was a little rude. I, I apologize. I, let, me, let me take that back. Now, um, you are in luck, okay? We have to get lucky, you know, like the Daft Punk song. Now, because uh, if you see right here, I do have my certificate right there. <laughs> That's your certificate? Why, why do you have to say it like that with that? But with That's your certificate. Why do you have to say it like that? Did a two-year-old sign off on that? That was kind of rude slash fucked up. But, you know, it's whatever. Uh, you know, let me just check this one more time. You already did this. Okay, shh. You know, don't you wish that Dr. Dre made these? Like, that the scopes by Dre? Because I think... Mm. No, you don't co-sign? No, not really. Fuck. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I be honest with you? I lied to you about the whole migraine specialist. I'm not. But! <laughs> Crayola? Not. What is that for? All right, well, well I'm uh, about to answer that. Oh, well, you are standing in front of the best... Gynecologist? gynecologist <laughs> in town. Go ahead and look I knew it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. All right. That's pretty good. We got it. another one. So the only way I can do these is I have to paste it. And then I have to take the studio off of here. A Jacksonville Damn. man just won a million. Stop. Stop. All right. We got this one first. Mr. Krabs has no insurance. Risk game equals strong. <laughs> oh no. 
This is horrible. What is it, Doctor? This man has no insurance. He'll never be able to afford this room. You're right, nurse. Extract the patient to the hallway. Stat! <laughs> doctor? Yes, Doctor. Regarding your patient, Doctor, I have come to this conclusion. Yes, go on. We have to surgically remove him from out in front of the candy machine so I can get to the Nutty Nut Bar. Of course. <laughs> nurse! I'm on it. Excuse me, Doctor. Administrator Flotsam, what can I do for you? It has come to my attention that your patient, Mr. Krabs, is out on the front sidewalk. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, what were you thinking, man? We're trying to run a business here. We can't leave patients on the sidewalk. Not to worry. Nurse! I'm on it. <laughs> Again, American Doctor Simulator. <laughs> All right. Try not to laugh. Funny news bloopers. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm in the way. You know what? Why don't I do this? We can put me there. We can do one of these. Put this over here. What the hell? Come on. Come on. I can't get it. What is happening? <laughs> and put this over here. And bam, now we can see everything. Do this. Yellow dress look good on me. <laughs> Bless. YouTube in theater mode. We can do it like that. And now we can see everything. Million dollar jack off, jack pot from a <laughs> scratch off where he bought the winning ticket. That's it. Wait, 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 let's see that again. A Jacksonville man just won a million dollar jack off, jack pot from a <laughs> scratch off where he bought the winning ticket. That's it. No, 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 <laughs> so Jaquel, we finished the game already. We played through it twice, so we're just killing time now. I got about ten minutes left, so we're just watching funny videos now. Residents in Florida are being urged to get out now with a monster storm forecast to smash into America's southeast with the neck. <laughs> are you gonna have a vest that's open? <laughs> I'm sorry. We were talking to Sam about Dancing for the Stars, and I guess we're supposed to be talking about <laughs> hold yourself together. What did he say? Now, with a monster storm forecast to smash into America's southeast with the neck. <laughs> Are you going to have a vest that's open? 
<laughs> a vest that's open. Special Olympics athletes from Abilene to San Angelo who are here in town. You want me to read yours? Okay. Well, right now, there could be loads of innocent people just sitting in jail in Fulton County waiting on a trial date because there's a huge backlog, back, a huge load of backlog court cases that has piled up from the pandemic. If I could talk this morning. Paris Walmart has some new ways for you to get back to school shopping done. The retail giant is rolling out several new apps. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. What did he say? Has some Waiting on a trial date because there's a huge backlog, back, a huge load of backlog court cases that has piled up from the pandemic. If I could talk this morning. Paris Walmart has some new ways for you to get back to school shopping done. The retail giant. Did he say Paris Walmart? It's rolling out several new apps. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Gary's making me laugh. This I can bring for the first full day of fall. Some fall weather, exactly. So I guess I'm helping out the poll here. 47 <laughs> degrees. So I got so excited, I almost fell. This she just kind of tripped a little uh, bit. 62 for the high on Friday. So literally, I'm falling into fall. Uh -huh. There we go. Heating up, we could still see these records continue to grow as we head throughout the next uh, couple of hours. But heading throughout uh, the next couple of days, heading into Wednesday, that's when we're expecting to see that next uh, heat potentially for Wednesday. Taking a closer look, we're seeing those high 90s across both Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. This camera is moving all over the place right now, <laughs> trying to get in my way. In the, Home in studio the camera. <laughs> They're not just Sorry. sweats. There's one, there's one where uh, uh, the guy like freaks out. Um, let me see if I can find it. So hard out there. <laughs> what, what'd you say? is moving all over the place right now, trying to get in my way. And the, Home studio and the camera. <laughs> They're not just Sorry. sweat so hard out there. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, I found it. I don't know what even set that off right now. Apparently my watch had something to say. It's probably saying, hey girls, you probably should get out and do some exercise, right? Temperature is very comfortable. I mean, you might be able to pull off a pair of jeans here. Or, well, you should wear, pull je uh, wear jeans, I should say here. Pull off wearing them, if you know what I mean. Wow, that came out wrong. Pull off a pair of jeans. <laughs> That's so bad. Temperatures overnight tonight are going to be in the uh, lower to middle 60s, depending on your location. And some folks are going to be in the upper 50s. Don Hush. Uh, over Whoa, where did that go? Tonight are going to be Watch in this the, thing uh, disappear. Lower to middle 60s, depending on your location. And some folks are going to be in the upper 50s. Don Hush. Uh, over depending on your medication here, I found this one. It's in like 240p. But this is the one I was talking about. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? <laughs> Shit! I'm dying this fucking car. Here at Augusta here, High watch. School that led to Chris Wood's death. <laughs> the fuck is that? The fuck is that? Shit. I'm dying this fucking country ass fucked up town. <laughs> Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see pilot. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. I can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? Wait, that was wrong? Alright, I don't know what that meant. Seen this one? This is always funny. <laughs> Is it off or is it on? Do you need me to turn you on? Oh, oh, God. No, I'm coming to use my yeah. microphone. <laughs> oh, boy. Is it off or is it on? Do you need me to turn you on? You need me to turn you on? Oh, no, I'm coming to use my yeah. microphone. <laughs> you don't need the microphone? I turned it on. That was so creepy. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Go ahead, finish up, Sarah. Right, I we'll apologize. put you on my report this time. <laughs> he loses his mind sometimes. Oh, Go on. It's all good. Well, it's behind that you. Very nice of you, Larry. <laughs> Just trying to help. Thank Jeez. you. Just nice trying to help. help. You're a giver. Gosh, what a great guy. <laughs>
<laughs> Taylor is being played by Stalker Channing, mm -hmm. and Marlon Brando is being Stalker played by Stalker Channing. The Entertainer. <laughs> 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 We're coming right back. <laughs> a conference call when a squirrel emerged from the fireplace. The man initially and grabs a bat and begins screaming to scare the squirrel. Trying to jump around his office. The man jumps on top of his desk, hoping to get away from the creature. Look at him. <laughs> what? We were taking a group picture in front of the sign, and it was hanging out on top of the sign, and it jumped down, and it used my head as like a launch pad wow. <laughs> in between. The animals the love sign. you. I know, you. and I'm not. They, yeah. It's like they sense. They sense your fear, my and they want to make your life them. miserable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or they just love your seven-day forecast. <laughs> That's, That's what, what it is, for sure. Katie Briscoe sells her honey on her website, which you cannot find attached to this story on our web. Stay. He gets stuck. Born with the bees. I'm Tyler Poglich. Oh, here's a picture. Oh, I wondered where that picture went. <laughs> where did you get that? All right, let's uh, let's watch uh, a couple uh, RDR two fails real quick before. Uh, what's the best one? Six hundred thirty thousand views. Two point nine million views. Top one hundred funniest fails in Red Dead. Uh, let's watch that one. Zing. All right. Size for gamers by gamers. I'm just running out of time, and I want to get these into. Oh wait, we started watching this one. <laughs> wait, we've seen a few of these. Maybe it was just that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we couldn't see that one. A few moments later. <laughs> That's the best part about this game is falling off the horse. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Give my horse back. He's going to shoot. Oh, yeah. I'm on fire. I should just look up horse fails. What was going on in there? <laughs> now you know you look perfect, princess. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> that was awesome. I'd love to watch all these, but I'm I'm out of time. I want to see. See if I can find these real quick. Uh, swatch this one, I guess. Oh, this is the same guy. Four outlaws, five outlaws. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Come on, give me a really good one. 
Oh yeah. Jeez. Oh, I need to play this again. Okay, that was good. Wow. <laughs> so I would love you know if anybody has this game and wants oh and wants to play uh, the multiplayer like I don't it doesn't really matter to me if like the economy and stuff is all messed up I just want to get on there with somebody and screw around and do stuff like this <laughs> So if anyone wants to do that, we could do that this weekend. Oh man, he's gonna crash good. Uh. <laughs> I was doing that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? Have it on Xbox? Is it cross-platform? Probably not, huh? Because it's Rockstar and GTA isn't. <laughs> that was kind of graceful. Holy sh man, what the f oh, and it does tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. It's in cinematic. What? Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> the sound effects too. Oh, what? Hold on. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, crap. I'm typing on the other screen and it's messing this one up. <laughs> I'm looking it up here. At the time of writing this, 2022 Red Dead Online still does not support cross-platform. This means those playing on PC, PlayStation, Xbox consoles will only be able to play with others in the same platform. That sucks. I think everything should be cross-platform now. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, man. So I guess if any, you know, I actually I have, well, crap. No, I have it on PS4. So we still couldn't play together. If anyone has it on PC, what? Oh, I thought it just sunk. If anyone has this on PC, and it just runs away, let me know and we can play together sometime. Just to screw around and have some laughs. What the hell happened? The resolution on this is kind of crappy. Run into him. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, perfect. Maybe I'll play this like Saturday. Oh, oh, by the way, um, Laura is going uh, to another friend's house to bake cookies on Sunday. I think she said 11 o'clock a.m. Sunday. So, 
As soon as she leaves... Oh, yes! As soon as she leaves on Sunday, I will be streaming in the morning, I believe. And I imagine she'll be gone for like an... Oh, jeez! That was a good one. I imagine she'll be gone for like a good six hours, like last weekend. So we can really make... Can play... Can do a bunch. Yes! Dude, you should get extra points for that. So just to let everybody know, Sunday morning... We'll be streaming probably like half the day. <laughs> oh, watch out! These are awesome. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are these all the same character? That doesn't look like Arthur. Okay, I thought that's where it was going to be. Nope. Nope. Yes. He landed it. Uh-oh. Now you've done it. <laughs> and then it just died. Let's see that again. Oh, I did that mission. Bam! This next one, I did this mission. And the thing kept blowing up on me. Okay. Oh, whoops. What did I do? I screwed it up. Yeah, this one. <laughs> but they shoot at you and it blows. <laughs> that was cool. Also, uh, probably Friday night or Saturday night, uh, we're gonna have to get on. Whoa, we're gonna have to get on subsistence. Whatever works for everybody. Malik, uh, Envy, and Cold Designer. Whatever works for you guys the best that we can get everybody on there. Would the two guys that ride straight into the rock actually happen to me during the mission? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I, I need to make a clip of the one where where I ran into the other horse and it killed the guy and then I stood up and then the horse kicked me and killed me. Oh! <laughs> Elon Musk is avoiding paying rent, which is the last thing I would think the richest man on earth have troubles with. Dude, a for stuff. Also, he's an idiot. I used to like him a couple of years ago. Oh, it's for Twitter, but it's still his responsibility. Oh, whoa, that sucks. Fell off. All right, one more. Better be a good one. All right, that one wasn't very good. Come on, give me a good one. Three p.m. Saturday. Okay, so probably. Probably Saturday evening then. Oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> it's even in slow motion. All right, that was good. 
So Saturday, I imagine that uh, I will be, my son will probably want to play Hello Neighbor 2. So I'll probably do that during the day sometime. And then, oh, perfect. And then Saturday evening, uh, we can do subsistence. Um, I'm wondering, though, if I want to play subsistence for six hours Saturday night. Or if I want to do something else for a couple hours and then switch over to subsistence. Or if you guys would rather play first and then I'll do something else so that you're not up until like four or five o'clock in the morning. All right, last one. Be a good one. Be a good one. Oh, I want to see him get hit by a train. Oh, jeez. All right, that was all right. All right, you guys. I went even later than I said I was going to. So, uh, what's today? Today's Wednesday? What are we doing tomorrow? Should I do... Um, Saturday night is when I play with some PlayStation friends. Okay. Well, everybody let me know what's what's better for for everybody. Saturday, like... Saturday night, like first thing on stream, or should I do something for a couple hours and then we can play after that? Um, so tomorrow, tomorrow, should I play the Mirror Forge demo and late night mop? And then if we got time left, whatever other demos I have already installed. Or I guess the only ones that I have ready to go is Fran Bo, who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus, um, and then not for broadcast. Here, let's do this. Tomorrow, uh, mirror, forge, demo, and other demos. Mirror, how do you spell mirror? Uh, brand bow. Who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus, which is another FMV game. What was the other one? Oh, not for broadcast. Does anybody care about that game? If not, then I'll just, well, I'd like to finish it at least. I don't think there's that much of the game left. So I'd actually like to finish it. This is the one I was trying to think of, the Uncle Marcus one? Okay. If you play it on stream, I'd listen to it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's that much of the game left. It's possible. How long have I played it? I played it for three... Six. I played it for six hours, and I believe it to be. Let me just look it up real quick. Oh, it says ten hours. So it'd probably take a couple streams to finish it, unless I did it on a weekend. Mirror Forge, Uncle Marcus. Anybody else want to vote? Eh. 
Anybody? 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 I turned some music on, but I'm like just finishing up here. They make me turn the clock on. <laughs> um You know let's um I already have the Uncle Marcus one set up and we could stay on the the FMV kick as long as I still have that that might be that's actually one of the last ones that I have uh, I might have a couple more, but that's the last one that I have ready to go. I think the idea of playing something either before or after subsistence would be best, so the streams aren't four plus hours long. Yeah, I could play something before. I think I would rather play something before and then switch over to subsistence, uh, but I don't want to make you guys, because you guys are two hours ahead of me, so I don't want to make you guys stay up until, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning. So if it's better for you guys that we start at like eight o'clock my time, 10 o'clock your time, if that's better for you guys, we could play that for four hours, but then we'd have, I'd have to be like, all right, I got to quit now and do something else. You can play in the evening or later at night around 2 a.m. or maybe even earlier it doesn't matter yeah either, either way is fine i can do something else first and we can switch over i guess let's just plan on that just look the last subsistence got 67 views and i noticed before the shorter stream the shorter stream got more let's just plan on doing that i'll, I'll plan on playing doing something else first for a couple hours and then switching over to subsistence Unless, you know, unless you guys say otherwise, we can switch it around. Uh, so that's Saturday. Subsistence Saturday. All right. So I got to come up with something good for Friday. I got to look through my, uh, my libraries and stuff and come up with something good. Um, all right. I guess we'll, let's do this. Let's do Uncle Marcus tomorrow. Since we just did FMV and that might be the last FMV that I got set up for a little while. So that'll kind of finish it off. Dude, on this game, She Sees Red, I did not get limited ads. But on the Fortnite stream, I did. <laughs> So cool. All right. So we'll plan on Marcus tomorrow. We'll see if it's any good. It's possible we might finish it, but if we don't and it sucks, then we can just leave it. And if it's any good, then uh, we'll play it again. Oh, I got the, oh, I got this one. The infectious madness of Dr. Decker. But I think that's like in the same world as the shape-shifting detective. Um, because it has some of the same characters. So I'm not sure about that one. That'd be one that I would try to see if it's any good. And then if it sucks, then never play it again. RDR then subsistence on Saturday. Okay. That would work. Could do that. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, uh, I had a decent time tonight and actually go to bed tomorrow. We'll play tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow we'll play Marcus Friday. I want to look through my steam and Epic libraries and maybe find something, find something good, something exciting that we can do Friday and then Saturday, red dead, then subsistence. And then Sunday, I will probably have a good six hours in the middle of the day to stream. Uh, I'll find something good for that too. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming to hang out with me tonight, you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. If you're watching later, you can also subscribe to the channel for more streams and other videos. All right. Well, I will talk to everybody 
tomorrow. Later, guys. Have a good night.